Hello everyone, this is Ekolka. Today we're taking apart an interesting electric unicycle from InMotion, which has been much talked about. It was claimed to be the safest wheel in the world, made to the highest industry standards. In this video, we will explore its potential in urban environment and try to simulate different conditions of use. Cities around the world are very different, and not everywhere you can ride safely in the car traffic or on the perfect dedicated bicycle lanes. Prague is an ideal city to shoot this video. You can find everything here. We are trying to make unique and quality content, which takes a lot of time. You can thank us for free by simply subscribing to the channel or for a fee by using Super Thanks function. Let's start with what everybody already knows. Does this wheel have good quality? Yes. The wheel is very well assembled. The build and materials quality is definitely a strong point of in motion. The V13 gets here 5 out of 5 for sure. Is this wheel safe? Yes, there is a lot of safety in the wheel and if you don't try and push it to the limit every time, it will not let you down. And that's a 5 out of 5 without a doubt. But then the nuances begin. The first question we ask ourselves when we get new devices is, what is the ideal customer portrait for this wheel? In the case of the InMotion V13, the answer to this question is not so easy. At first glance, you might think the V13 is a great cruiser for long journeys. And it's only partially true. At low speeds, the wheel really behaves very stable and confident. But we can't talk about long journeys here. If you travel more than 100 kilometers every day, then V13 is definitely not for you. If you do such trips once or twice a year, I do not see any problem to bring a charger or to charge the device for another 20 to 30 kilometers during lunchtime, thereby increasing the maximum distance from 80 to 100 to 110 kilometers. Here we can definitely give the wheel a 2 out of 5. The wheel is heavy and expensive, and in terms of kilometers from one charge, it can be beaten by devices that are almost three times cheaper. Perhaps the V13 is a wheel for speed demons. Here we can quite agree. With such a large mass and diameter of the wheel, the first 60 km per hour are achieved by the power of thought. The wheel is very sharp and aggressive, but there is a very tangible point. This is definitely not a wheel for beginners or even intermediate riders, as well as not for light ones. It requires a certain level of skill and surgical precision control. All this happens because of great total mass and high center of gravity. Imagine you attach a 50 kilogram dumbbell to your body and at 60 kilometers per hour trying not to rock it from side to side. It is very easy to catch wobbling on this wheel, and to stop it you need to have some experience. The wheel gets a score of 4 on this parameter. So, but this wheel has a suspension. It has to be super comfortable. It certainly is. Add to this 22 inch tire and a motor with a wide rim and you get a real Rolls Royce in the world of electric unicycles. But it can't be done without a spoonful of iron. Unlike the Kingsong or Leaper Kim company with Sherman S model, who did not want to reinvent the wheel and just went with the shock absorber manufacturers, the InMotion company choose its own way by making its unique design of suspension. In fact, the system in the V13, taken over from the younger brother V11, but was duplicated, four shock absorbers instead of two. In motion design engineers took into account complaints from users and tried to reduce the suspended mass by hanging on the damper only motor itself. In the V11, other than the motor, you will find batteries along with the electronics hanging on the suspension and receiving direct bumps from the road. 
we give the V13 suspension three points. Although it has improved, it is still inferior to the competition. We'll get into more detail on the suspension in the V13 enduro tests. Not all of us would like to squeeze the last juices out of our device. Most people use ukes in a very generous mode. What does the V13 have to offer for them? I'm probably not going to surprise anyone, but V13 is not the most comfortable wheel to maneuver in narrow and limited spaces. This is where simple physics comes in. On a small and light wheel, it's much easier to pass between people or squeeze into a narrow opening between cars. If your daily routine includes driving on sidewalks, riding to various places and going between pedestrians, forget about V13. We give it one point just because the wheel has a surprisingly comfortable handle which handles so well and the big wheel that allows you to go up on curbs of any height without any problems. The Wheel Package For that kind of money, of course I would like to get more. I really miss the stand on which you can lean the wheel. Every time you have to look for a wall or just put it on the floor. It's not even funny. Next, they could include a saddle in the kit. We know how much it costs to make these things in China and for sure InMotion would not be poorer if they included it in the standard package. In the box you'll find a power pads with duct tape instead of velcro and one charger. The wheel comes complete with honeycomb pedals. They are comfortable but feel more slippery than other wheels in the same class. Also in the box are the parts that allow you to make the wheel with suspension as no suspension. I do not know who can get rid of one of the main features of the wheel. I would like to have a stand and saddle instead of them. And in case, these things can be bought separately. For the equipment, a maximum of one point. The general feeling of using this device is that it will definitely catch the eyes of passersby. Interesting design, orange elements, and giant size do their job. The wheel has a button to turn off the motor, convenient handles for which you can raise it, but believe me, you do not want to lift it anywhere higher than one step. And in terms of versatility of use, we cannot give it more than two points. Total, we get 23 points out of 40. InMotion V13 is a very specific wheel. Unique in its own way, beautiful, arousing respect of riders. It's quite controversial, but if you've watched this review and realized that it suits you, get it without hesitation. If you will fall in love with it, then other ukes will not bring you so much excitement, emotions, and adrenaline. V13 is a wheel for those who know what they want. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we will tell you about the mixed cycle of using V13. It was a Kolka. Like, subscribe, because we only make high quality content.